ARK Invest's newest ETF, ARKX, is set to become tradable on the public market starting tomorrow, March 30th, 2021. ARKX has attracted a lot of attention since it was first announced several months ago because it is a new space exploration ETF, opening the door to many investors seeking exposure to the developing space industry without having to handpick the stocks for themselves. However, ARKX may not be exactly what many believe it is to be at first glance. We will be taking a look at ARKX's 39 announced holdings and why you may want to analyze this ETF a bit more closely before investing your money into it. So let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Mark with MC Stocks. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button for more videos like this one. And as always, remember to do your own due diligence when investing and seek a financial advisor for professional advice. So ARK Invest got many investors excited when they announced that they will be creating a new space ETF back in early January this year. This sent several space-related stocks soaring at the time, such as Virgin Galactic going up about 20%, Maxar Technologies going up around 28%, and SRAC going up about 25%. Keep in mind that this huge jump was simply due to the hopes that ARK Invest could possibly include these stocks into their ETF. Now fast forward to today and we can see exactly which stocks ARK Invest has decided to include into their ETF. But first, let's look at what ARK Invest had in mind with this particular ETF. Despite being named the Space Exploration and Innovation ETF, they do get a bit more involved in the fund's detailed description. According to the description on the header of their ARKX site, ARK Invest states that the fund gives exposure to space exploration, including orbital and suborbital aerospace, enabling technologies, and beneficiaries of aerospace activities, such as agriculture, internet access, GPS, construction, and imaging. So up front, we see that yes, the fund does include direct exposure to space-related companies, but it also states that you would get exposure to companies that would be beneficiaries of these space-related activities. They are granting exposure to more than just space-related companies by including those that would be beneficiaries, a detail that might not have been particularly clear from an ETF title of Space Exploration and Innovation. But let's move on a bit further down to their fund description and objective on the site where they list the four categories that the ETF covers. The first two, orbital aerospace and aerospace companies, should come to no surprise to anyone and are to be most expected out of a space-related ETF. The enabling technologies companies category is a bit more indirect where you would have exposure to the companies that help develop the tech to help make space exploration possible, such as artificial intelligence, robotics, 3D printing, materials, and energy storage. And lastly, they list that they will be including aerospace beneficiary companies, the companies that will be benefiting from aerospace activities, including agriculture, internet access, GPS, construction, imaging, drones, air taxis, and electric aviation vehicles. Now, let's dive in and take a look at the 39 holdings that are in ARC-X. At first glance, we can already notice that Kathy Wood's favorite stock, Tesla, is nowhere to be found in this ETF. Tesla, which is a top holding in a majority of ARK's ETFs and has arguable correlations with Elon Musk's SpaceX and Starlink, is surprisingly not listed in this ETF. The reasoning has not been disclosed, but it could be as simple as ARK invests not wanting to be overly exposed to a single stock. The reasoning has not been disclosed, but it could be as simple as ARK Invest not wanting to be overly exposed to a single stock across all of their ETFs. Scanning through the list, we can see several big name aerospace and defense companies, such as Lockheed Martin, Kratos Defense, Boeing, and Teradyne, most of which come to no surprise. Then, we can notice some of the enabling technology listings, such as ARK's 3D printing ETF, listed as the second biggest holding in ARKX, NVIDIA, Google Alphabet, and Taiwan Semiconductor. But then, we get into some questionable territory into figuring out how to justify some of these holdings 
as part of a space exploration and innovation EDF. The largest holding, Trimble, weighted at over 8.5%, would primarily fall into the beneficiary of space exploration and innovation category. According to Trimble's website, they state that Trimble's software, hardware, and services are transforming industries such as agriculture, construction, geospatial and transportation, and logistics. So no direct mission statement indicating space exploration or space enabling innovation. Further down though, we see some more questionable choices such as Alibaba and Netflix. Any correlation between these two companies and a space related ETF seems very hard to justify without going through some logical hurdles. Likewise, one of the expected favorites for the ETF, Virgin Galactic, is a fairly small holding having a weight of only 2%, while many others like Maxar and Momentus SRAC did not even make the list. So many predictions of holdings in this ETF turned out false due to the many unexpected choices in ARC-X. But nonetheless, ARC always has the ability to change and add positions to the fund when they feel the time is right, and could one day completely change how the fund appears. The fund is brand new, and could see some volatility in its early weeks from investors determining a fair price to investors realizing what's in the ETF's holdings. If you're looking to buy some shares of ARCX and need a brokerage, be sure to use our referral links in the description below for some free sign-on bonuses that can get added to your accounts. M1 Finance is doing a great offer currently where you can get a free $30 by using a referral link in the description below. So use the link below, earn an easy $30 and don't miss out. Good luck everyone with your holdings and stay tuned on our channel for any news regarding the latest ARCX developments. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when we release our next video. Please like and share for more videos similar to this one and comment below with any questions that you may have so that we can address them in future videos. Thanks.